What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we are going to look at every single legendary champion um, and i'm going to tell you who's worth investing in and who is trash um we will start with the telerians i'm gonna have to break this into probably four parts because it's going to take a while but i'm gonna spend about 10 seconds on each uh, champion but just before we do that um back by popular demand a lot of people are asking me for account takeovers so i'm bringing back the competition if you want to get involved all you need to do is like subscribe drop a comment below and i'll pick a random winner in the next four days and then i'll let you know so let's start cracking off with uh banner lords so lord shamfast uh lord shamfort trash um not not any use really anywhere apart from maybe hydra but to be honest he's not that strong not really worth it so uh, seth Thalia, great champion um really good for arena i'm sure you can use her in uh, other content it's a yes from me Cillian the lucky you are very unlucky if you pull this guy uh just trash just no place at all uh, sigmund pretty decent champion can be used for hydra I wouldn't say he's like top tier, but he's not terrible either. Um, he's like a maybe. Ronda, absolute beast for Arena. If you need a Nuka, she's your girl. Bring her in. She will get work done for you. Black Knight, trash. <laughs> Soltas, absolute beast in the Arena. Um, I really want him for my account and great for Dragon as well. 100% invest in. Mayana, uh, pretty awful to be honest, just absolute trash. However, if you do have uh, Corona, you pair them up together and they can actually be like a really nasty defense. So if you don't have Corona, trash, otherwise she's worth investing in. Helio looks like a badass um, and he's okay. Um, if you need someone to like transfer um, like debuffs, then yes, he's great. Um, but outside of that, he doesn't get really get much play time and he's not that amazing. But he's, yeah, I'd probably say no. Uh, Lugan, awful as well. Just an absolute trash meister. Septimus, he was the man back in the day. Um, he's still a great champion. I've not invested in mine at the moment. Um, he can definitely help you like early on game and mid game and like clear dungeons really fast. Uh, but he is like sort of falling off now. Um, not so great for PvE. Um, could be useful for, um, like could be interesting for Arena though. Because he can just like, if he gets a kill, he can just pop off and just snipe the whole team. So yeah, I would say probably not worth investing in. But he definitely has uses and he can be a really strong champion. Uh, Richoff, I'm going to say it's a no from me. I don't think he's that great. Raglin, um, again, she's another monster. Um, great for arena offense and defensively has like a, I think one of the best rev uh, single target revives in the game for sure. Um, also, like if you need help in um, any sort of PVE content, she can probably help carry you as well. Oh, and she's also a cleanser as well. So anyone that can cleanse is usually a really strong champion. Baron, absolute beast. Um, probably top five arena nuka, easy. Um, and also for Doom Tower, um, with the right RNG, he can like get through most Doom Tower waves and even bosses in like under 10 seconds. Just amazing to watch. Yeah, 100% worth investing in. Taras, this guy is the meta. If you don't know about this guy, where have you been? 100% uh, invest in. Like PvE, Arena, he is just the king and he will just wreck everything. 100% yes. Marichka, um, again, she is part of the Ukrainian duo that makes up Taras and she is just an absolute beast as well. I mean, if you compare up with another Reviver in Arena, Live Arena, Tag Arena, Classic, it is really nasty and it's really difficult to deal with. Um, great champion, love to have her on my account. Quintus, um, not too many people have this guy. Um, you need to be in gold, live arena, I think gold four to get him. And not many people are, so 
not much is known about him, but the feedback is pretty poor. So for me, it's going to be a big fat no, not worth investing in. Uh, High Elves, um, okay, Eleran Rule, um, great champion if you need a poison um, explosion champion. So she can clay, uh, clear waves really, really fast, especially for PvE. Um, definitely not used for arena. So if you need help in like Dragon or maybe low levels of, oh, like, level 20 of fire knight or something like that she can definitely help clear waves and help you clear content pixinal um i think she's had like three buffs since her release um i've i've had three um and one of them i did feed to get molly which is the probably one of the best things i've ever done um she's just absolute trash um yeah th there's no use for her in the game which is a real shame um she should have some full potential but she doesn't and even after three buffs just still awful uh, Alexandra, I'm not a fan. Um, I'd say he's like average, definitely not worth at all. Uh, Islin looks okay. Um, I wouldn't say like an amazing champion, but probably decent for Hydra and probably low level PvE content. Um, but yeah, I don't think he's going to be amazing, but I'm sure some content will come out in the future and we will find a use for him. But until then, nope. Uh, Shiromani is a pretty decent champion. Um, she can nuke pretty hard. She also has freezes, which can be used for like Bommel and far, uh, hard fire knight. So yeah, pretty, pretty use. And she's got a continuous shield as well. I would say, yes, you could probably get a lot of use out of her, but if you've got stronger champions, then yeah, obviously no. Uh, Lothariel, um, I actually pulled this guy. I'm not using him at the moment. I know he can be used in fire knight hard. Um, but outside of that, he doesn't have a lot of use, so I would say probably no. But if you do need an ally attack champion, he's pretty decent. But outside of that, yeah, his kit didn't impress me much. Uh, Rhinus, um, absolute trash. No interest in him at all. Uh, Deliana, I think she's a pretty decent champion. Um, it's got a pretty good kit, more for PvE and stuff, but definitely can get some use out of her. Lissandra... Um, she's one of the OGs. I really wanted her back in the um, in the old days. Um, she can just carry so hard for Fire Knight. Still a great champion. Can still be used for normal Fire Knight and also for Dark Face. She's a beast for that as well. Um, also great for Arena as well. So she's a hundred percent worth investing in. Uh, Royal Huntsman um, can hit really hard. Can be a great Arena Nuka. Personally, I've never seen him, so he's not like top tier. Pretty like average, but can still hit pretty hard. Uh, Yannicka is really underrated. Um, a great champion that everyone can get. Um, can absolutely destroy champions that, um, like she's a good counter to Necred. And also that Perfect Veil is really nice as well. So she can, you know, not be targeted. So that is another nice thing to have. So yeah, actually a really underrated champion and great Arena Nuka. Probably because she hits hard as well, she can definitely be using PvE content as well. Tatora, um, I went really hard for this guy for the fusion, and I was really not impressed. I think he's just average, um, not worth it in my opinion. Il Il <laughs> Ethos, I pulled this guy. Um, I've not invested in him yet because I've got same champions, but he is great for arena, great arena nuka. Uh, can solo minotaur can farm a uh, campaign like nightmare uh, can do loads and loads of stuff and do it really really fast so he's actually a great champion and definitely worth investing i think i'm just in a very niche spot i'd say like 95 percent of the time you would invest in this guy belanor absolute trash uh, his only use is unkillable clan boss outside of that he's just not used anywhere and he just looks like i don't know he's like in his pajamas I mean, what is this get up? Yeah, just awful, awful, awful champion. Arbiter, she's the queen of arena. I mean, everyone gets her and she is an absolute beast. 100% worth investing in. Supreme Elhane, um, I would be probably quite disappointed if I pulled her, but a mid to early game account, she'd be a real game changer. Um, she is actually still really good for arena. If I did pull her, I probably would invest in her. Again, another great champion that can counter net cred. And she does hit really hard as well. So she's still a really good champion, just not top tier for the arena. Sacred Order. Um, so there's this new uh, mythical champion. 
We've got Sigfrud. And to me, he looks absolutely amazing. He looks like a beast. Um, I think, you know, Palermo have like an obsession with wings. I don't know what happens, but like they release a champion with wings and now all of them have got wings. Um, personally, I actually prefer the default skin. Don't know about you guys, but yeah, I think this one just looks way more cooler. It's more subtle, but yeah, it looks more badass in my opinion. But yeah, great kit and he looks like he'll be really nasty for a lot of content. Uh, Rosh card um, can be used for unkillable clan boss, 100% worth investing in. Can actually also be used for Bommel. Um, I know someone used to have two of these and he used to basically sink their unkillable, sorry, not unkillable, block damage buff and yeah, and he used to be able to clear Bommel with it. So actually has a use for that as well. Uh, Chorus, I've pulled him recently. I've not used him yet, but meant to be good for Dragon. Obviously anyone that does poison will be good for Dragon, good for clan boss. But even apparently good for um, for Hydra as well. So yeah, definitely worth investing in. Astralon, I love this guy. Um, he looks like a beast. Again, another champion with wings. Um, he was a fusion and he nukes really, really hard. You can also build him out to be um, like provide CC as well with his stun. So yeah, really great champion. Hits really hard. But also just has like a really good kit as well, like all round kit. And if you have counter slick, they are like a really nasty combo to put together. So really good champion, 100% worth uh, investing in. Horse ring is a big fat no from me. Um, he can only be really used for finite. Outside of that, he is just pure trash. Errol, um, he's okay. Um, yeah, I know he's been buffed recently, but I still feel like it's not enough. And again, I never see him in arena. You know, I'm in for live arena. I was in the top 12, uh, top 12, no, top 1200 for ages. And I've never ran into him. I, not, I've never seen him in tag or in classic arena either. But um, yeah, outside of that, not much use. Abess, she can actually hit really, really hard. Um, I've never, again, another champion I've never even ran into. But if you need arena new car, she can definitely get work done for you and hit really hard. Um, Galish, Soul Guide, I don't know. I don't think I'm like, I actually have maxed her out. I've been doing some play testing with her. And personally, I don't rate her. She's got one unique thing that basically she can sort of block um, skills being put on cooldown. So that sort of counters, um, you know, Warlord and Yumiko and Basha. However, it's like there's not a 100% chance for it to work. And it, it's 50-50. It's so it's not a great counter. Um, so I don't really rate it that much. Um, yeah, so for me, I'd say probably not worth investing at all. Uh, Marta, um, yeah, definitely worth investing in if you need a counter attack champion and she does provide provoke as well. So potentially she could be used in Hydra, but then if you're using counter attack, it can cause issues and you don't want the heads to take that and start spreading it because you will wipe. Um, but yeah, she's there's only, I think, three champions in the game that can AOE um, buff counter attack and she's one of them so she definitely is worth investing if you need that also if you need someone like to counter attack for clan boss or pve content she's definitely usable um and actually i think she because she has this provoke she can be used for dark fey as well uh cupidus um a strange champion he's a hard hitting um arena because so definitely worth investing in and if you've got venus as well they are just a nasty, nasty duo, and you can make a really nasty uh, defense team with them. So yeah, definitely worth investing in. Um, and yeah, put them both in stone skin and you'll be laughing. Um, Archbishop, um, I've not used him, but I've heard he's really good for Hydra. So yeah, definitely someone that I think worth, it, uh, worth investing in. And outside of Hydra, great for PvE content as well. Uh, Bivald. I love this guy. I use him for Hydra, um, even for uh, not Nightmare, but for Brutal is the verse I use him with. And he's just great. Uh, provides Provoke um, and a Leech. And yeah, just great, great all-round champion. So Nicholas, uh, unfortunately, I don't have him. But I've heard if you ever get stuck in any content, you just bring him in and he will help carry. And yeah, he's a beast. Uh, again, like he can be used in Arena as well as like an Arena Nuka. And he brings that unkillable as well. Solid, solid champion. If you get him, congrats to you. Just like definitely worth investing in. Uh, Venus, even without Cupidus, I would invest in her. 
um she can um yeah all about this aoe decrease defense and weaken but again if you've got um cupitus as well um she's even stronger and she does bring in a strip as well which is just absolutely amazing um but yeah nasty nasty like i said just them two together just amazing cardiel um i wish i had this guy i come against him a lot and he is hard to beat um he's like a really strong cleanser but also brings in that ally um attack with increased um crit rate and crit damage great 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 champion um but also can be used for finite hard as well so you know god for arena and great for uh finite hard as well uh constantine another under eight champion um i've got two of these guys um and he hits really really hard like trunda level damage and he does bring a block revive depending on um faction that he's going against however if you've got vlad as well he, you know it's a hundred percent uh guaranteed but i think him and vlad are just a terrible combo to be honest so him by himself he is just he's still like an absolute beast and he has so much like ignored defense in his kit as well yeah definitely worth investing in uh supreme Athel, i don't think she's that great i wouldn't even bother investing in her at all and we're down to the barbarians now um so first up we got altan um he's outdated he's trash i know he can hit hard for clan boss but i still don't think i'd invest in him at all still a hundred percent as soon as you get out you need to put books you need to level up and start using her she will carry you in all the dungeons i mean i had her in every single team for dungeons level 20 and yeah it just made such a huge difference to my account um clan father um just an look you know he looks really cool it's such a shame but yeah cool looking champion but again just trash uh Cro crohan um you're not gonna be able to get this guy it like you know it's gonna be really really hard to get him and he just looks average to me so not worth investing in you know getting four accounts or whatever it is and maxing them out to get him uh yeah just trash cantra um she's great for hydra um outside of that i don't think she's that great like i know she can be used for bommel and other content but i feel like it's just really hard to fit her in and she for me i just don't feel like she's that good I mean, if you need someone for hydra and you've got the champions that can work around her that throw out loads of debuffs then yeah definitely bring her in otherwise i'd hold off and stick her in the vault until you've got like champions that you can build around her elder skarg actually is like sort of really really strong and it's because he receives 15 percent less damage from legendary champion so he's actually great for arena and if you bring in other champions around him um you know like someone with like an ally protection or something like that or big fat shields he can survive and he will just do damage and you know he can definitely smack um Asgore, i'm not such a fan <laughs> he looks like a I don't know i'm seeing like a bleach blonde ozzy osbourne um but yeah i don't know i just yeah another another so sorry yeah no yeah i don't know but when i saw his kit i wasn't too impressed yeah definitely not worth investing in valkyrie i am lucky enough to have three of them um i think she's slightly overrated like don't get me wrong she's still a strong champion um, if you need like a team for clan boss you can definitely build like a two key team comp with her you can get like a one key team comp with valkyrie but it's very hard to do you need like really intensive gear um arena she's great um but again she's sort of fallen off because of like there's so many strippers now and there's block buff champions as well that really cause her problems so not as strong as she used to be i think also because of stone skin as well I feel like she has really fallen off um but she still has use um and also i'm not a fan of using her in dungeons because she slows down runs um so basically you know if ch uh, champions have got counter attacks on them if they get hit it means that they all do single target hits on that champion it just it just drags things out so i, I don't like that however as well she is good for finite as well so i think if you do pull her 100 percent, you are going to invest in her um Rorik, real shame. I'd high hopes this guy. Um, yeah, he basically he's like a counter-attack champion. 
But yeah, he's just not great and he doesn't do that much damage. Uh, Rathmatab, um, he's got some interesting kit. I mean, he does have increased res, which not that many champions have. But I feel like he's still, again, just pretty average and doesn't get much playtime. Uh, Jetney, as soon as I saw her as a fusion, I was like, nope, it's a hard skip from me. And I still wouldn't bother investing in her. Uh, Turval is one of the hardest hitting champions in the game. Um, for clan boss, he will do loads of damage, especially in unkillable. Um, and Arena as well, he's just an absolute uh, monster. He will just drop the enemy team. So yeah, again, definitely another champion. You know, you got books, you got the energy, invest in him, six star him and book him out. He's a beast. Um, Usaga, a champion that I really want on my account. Um, if you pair up with someone like a Duchess or Pytheon, anyone that does damage mitigation, you pair up with, um, with her, put in like a guardian set and the amount of damage that those two champions will just reduce is ridiculous. Um, like I've got my Leores and, um, Hepfrak and they just like, they're just like not even tickling them. Like literally all the damage they do is just getting soaked up and they just do nothing. Um, but not only does that, she do that as well. She's got ally protection and strengthen. And she also does, um, this decreased crit damage and decreased attack as well. So really, really strong champion, um, just an absolute beast for, for the arena. I'm sure you can probably use her in Hydra as well and probably PvE content as well. But I mean, for arena, just a goddess. Uh, Yakko, um, yeah, he's definitely worth investing in if you're looking to build like a finite team and you want to bring in those freezes. Also potentially can be used for Bommel as well with those freezes um arena i have seen him like smack and get a bit of use but he's not that common so i think more for fire knight and for bommel so if you need him for that content great definitely worth investing in outside of that stick him in the vault and hold off for now to hanarak um i'm not like a massive fan of her um she is okay i know that if you want to use her for hydra she can be used for nightmare teams but then she needs like relentless gear and it needs to be good relentless gear. And I think for the average player, that's not really that achievable. Um, so she's not that great because of that. Um, but I personally do use her in arena for a bomb team comp. So uh, basically Astrolyph will put bombs on a stone skin champion. Uh, Tohanarak will come in and spread that across the team. And then I've got Vizier to double that up. So instead of like two bombs go, uh, being put out, you get two bombs put out. That are going to go off in one turn. Tanarak spreads it, and then Vizier spreads those bombs as well. So they all have like four bombs on them, and it just blows the team away. So, I mean, it has that for me is absolutely amazing. But otherwise, I just think she's not that great. But I mean, I I would definitely invest in her because there's also um like Doom Tower bosses that you can use her because she does cleanse. She's basically a much stronger version of uh, Doom Priest. But again, yeah, I, I don't really rate her that much, but she is a great champion. I can't deny that. Um, so yeah, definitely worth investing in. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you disagree or agree with me. You know, what champions do you think I got right? What champions do you think I got wrong? And um, yeah, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you in a new video soon. Peace.